We get asked many times, how old is your motorhome? Because they think that she's new, but she's not. It is completely safe. I can put my hand in front of it and I still have skin on, so it's definitely safe. You never, ever, ever, ever want to use brushes. Guys, if you've been watching us for a week or four years, you know there is one thing that Izzy loves more than anything, and that is cleaning. Right, so in this video, we're gonna show you, and this is gonna be a little more in-depth video because we get a lot of questions about it. We're gonna show you how we keep our motorhome clean. All parts of it, the chassis, the roof, the outside, the inside, we're gonna show you everything we use and how we use it. Before we move any further, we would like to thank the official sponsor of this video. It's campgroundviews.com. Campgroundviews.com is such a good resource. It was started by Mark Kep, who was a full-time RVer for many years, so he knows what it's like out there. Many people get to a campground, they have no idea what the, to expect, what it's gonna look like, and then they're very, very devastated when they see what they walk or into. Or better yet, they go online and they see like the perfect pictures and yeah. then they show up and right. it's like not that, because that's happened to us many times. So what Campground Views is, like MJ said, it's kind of like a virtual tour of the campground. So you're yep. able to see every campsite, the bathrooms, the hookups, how close everything is, and you can go on there and book it right through campgroundviews.com. It's really like the only thing that's out there. So they have over 65% of all recreation.gov campsites and campgrounds on there. They also have all of California, Texas, New Mexico, Utah, Idaho, Tennessee, Oregon State Parks, Washington State Parks, they have all the state parks out there. Their ultimate goal is to have every campground in the U.S. in their database. They'll get there. They will. They already have over 1,400 campgrounds and over 35,000 campsites, which is really amazing. You could imagine it's a huge undertaking. They are supported by RVers. They have different memberships, whether it's a one month, one year, five year, doesn't matter. We're going to put their link down below. We do have a discount code. Right. If you use the code ENDLESSRVING, you can save 25% off your membership. And again, they are owned by RVers. They support RVers. They've been a huge influence in our channel as far as supporting us. They're doing things every day, like it's constantly changing. Go check them out. We'll put their link down below. So we are in our fifth year owning our Numar, Nelly the Numar. It's a 2019. Had it four complete into the fifth year. And here's the thing. We get asked many times when we're at campgrounds or other places people want to know oh did you just get that motor home how old is your motor home because they think that she's new but she's not guys she's got 26,000 miles on her but we keep her looking really good and i'm the same way with my cars i know i have a 2017 ram and it's still in pristine condition i've always been that way mj knows that we want to share this with you because we see a lot of rvs out there and you know these are expensive if you want to call them investments they're expensive toys, and this should be treated well. Not only would it look better, you'll have higher resale value, but it'll also last you longer. So the first area, we're gonna kind of go from the top down and then inside. The first area I wanna talk about is the roof. Now this is going to differ a little bit if you have a fiberglass roof or if you have some kind of rubber roof. We have a Bright Tech roof that's considered like kind of like a rubber roof. So a couple ways we clean it. Two main things. This one we don't do too often, maybe twice a year, but our roof still looks really good compared to what we've seen out there. Could it look better? Yeah, it could look better, but I still think it looks pretty good. So there's two main things that we use to clean the roof. One, we use a cleaner. And then the second thing we do is use a UV protectant. Now we used to use a different type of cleaner. And if you've watched our videos, you know that we have started working with a company called Release and it truly is an all in one cleaner. And I started using this on the roof and the results have been not only very good, but it's very easy to use. So here's the product guys. This is the Release product. This is the concentrate. One gallon will make 80 of these, 32 ounces. Whether you want it in a foam box, bottle or in a regular spray bottle like over here and we'll talk about the spray bottle a little bit later because this is what we use on the inside. This, this video is not only about release but it is one of the products that we use. So the foam action is the best one. Go up there, spray everything with a foam, let it sit for 10 minutes and then you just scrub and this stuff, I mean our seals are white. They come out really good. Once that's rinsed off guys and we use a, a, a brush that has a water option that water can run through it. We'll brush with the, once that release is on, everything foams up, brush it, rinse it off, let it dry. And if you're wondering what is the brush we use, this is by, I believe it's Camco. We'll put the links for everything down below, but this is a really nice brush because it's an extendable brush and you see over here, 
There's a hose hookup. There's also a switch on and off. So you hook up your hose and then once you turn it on, water will start flowing from here. So it's very easy to scrub. I use this mm -hmm. for the wheels on the RV. I use so this for the wheels on the car because it's soft. It the, won't damage the anything. The camera just shook because a bee almost attacked me. That's okay. <laughs> well, we're out in the wild. So. so once that's all said and done, you get everything clean. What you want to do if you have a rubber type, I'm just say rubber, kind of generic, rubber type roof, you want to put some kind of UV protectant out there. Now, there's people that use 303 protectant that works really well. We just used a Dicor roof guard, and this is in a regular Zep spray bottle. It comes in a, a bigger half gallon. We'll put the link to that down below, but you just spray this on, wipe it, lasts about six weeks, and it will give a nice UV protectant, which will extend the life of your roof. In addition to extending the life on your roof, it's gonna make you physically get up on that roof. You're going to see seals right a lot of people they forget about the seals up there that's the number one sources of leaks in your rv is going to be from the roof a lot of times it's from seals so when i'm up there i'm physically interacting with that roof i can see oh maybe this seal needs to be replaced this needs to be scraped up if you have a fiberglass roof you're still going to clean it soap and water you could use a, a, some kind of wax or sealant to uh finish at the end couple of things to keep in mind you don't want to use a pressure washer up there you don't want to be forcing water into that especially if you have a rubber roof also you want to be careful guys if you're afraid of heights if you're not aware of your surroundings you could definitely take a header and we're at almost 13 feet and that would not be a comfortable or nice fall so the next one is going to be the chassis now whether that is underneath your hood keeping the engine clean or just underneath in general you want to keep that clean it gets a lot of dirt and grime on it ours does get dirty two ways i can clean it i'm going to go back to release again guys because this cleans everything it cuts grease it pulls dirt away i'm going to pump it up i'm going to spray underneath and then i'm going to use a pressure washer now we have a gas pressure washer we also have an electric one this is our second electric one the first one lasted us three years and it crapped out that was our first video yes the that was our first video video was our first video we ever but did. i was impressed with the amount i used it and the price i think that was like 80 bucks i went back got another green works 1700 psi you don't need to blow the paint off of your car guys or for your rv i have a gas pressure washer i use that to pressure wash pavers i use this on our rv and on our cars i use it with the 25 degree tip it is completely safe i can put my hand in front of it i've shown in other videos and i still have skin on so it's definitely safe you don't want to wash like this you kind of want to wash a little bit of distance now getting back to the chassis once you foam up with the release let it sit there you can go under pressure wash it this way they also sell attachments that you can just roll and it's almost like those uh, garden sprinklers it will pressure wash up so you can just kind of roll and do it that way it's all how much money you want to spend you don't have to go crazy under there guys it's just keeping the dirt you know built up grease and stuff like that you get rocks and stuff once a year would be fine now let's talk about what everybody sees right the paint the glass you can see we've got a bunch of bugs here we just got nelly back from the shop we have a video coming out on that so she is dirty but i promise you we're hitting the road in a week and a half and i never leave the house without nelly looking good never never because i don't want to be embarrassed if somebody sees us down the road and God it looks like a piece God of trash forbid. right that would be terrible so two ways that we clean our rv when we're at home we're not full timers everybody knows that we have access to water and all the amenities that you would have at home. So what we do, we try to make the easiest for us. We use DI water, deionized water. And if you don't know what that is, essentially you run water through a filtration system. Running through the filtration system will remove any minerals. So when you use that water, you don't have to dry this. It can air drive. It won't leave any kind of watermarks. And that makes our life much easier because I could wash, believe it or not, this big 37 foot motor home, physically wash it in less than 30 minutes. And then with cleanup and everything in about an hour. And that's because of di water now you might be asking yourself how do i get di water and this and everything else we talk about in this video we're going to link below this is probably the most easiest stupidest simple way to do it it's a simple chuck i've been using this now for I don't know, three years. Why I say it's small, it's portable, it's light, it has wheels, and the cartridges in here are easily swappable. Now, there are more efficient ways to do it. I thought about it. You could actually get the bigger cartridges, and they're just resin inside, more commercial grade. Per wash, it's going to cost you less. They're more upfront. Her wash is going to cost you less but this for most people guys is the way to go we wash our motorhome once to twice a month so we use the simple chuck in conjunction with the pressure washer and one other thing if i find here is a foam cannon and i'm telling you this will make your life so much easier essentially what you do you're going to fill this up with a kind of whatever soap you want we like to use the chemical guys because it smells nice and it's pretty cheap i think it's like 18 bucks for a gallon so what you're going to do you're going to fill up 
whatever ratio you want. Connect this to your pressure washer. And then when you run water through it, it will make a nice, it looks like snow, like a nice snow foam all over your RV. That does two things, guys. Number one, this soap, what the soap is doing is adhering to the dirt and kind of loosening it up and bringing it down. Number two, it provides lubrication, right? And you always want to wash with lubrication. Never dry, that's how you'll get scratches. Once you get the foam on the RV, and we did a full video talking about this, we'll link it above. We're then going to agitate that foam with a lamb's wool mitt, really. It's a nine inch mitt. We'll link this down below. You never, ever, ever, ever want to use brushes because it will leave horrible swirling and mar marks on your RV. This paint is not the same as the paint on your RV. On your car, it's much softer. And we've seen this on a Tiffin that was destroyed, a brand new Tiffin. At the show, at an RV Obviously, show. a dealership did not yeah. care. They obviously used a brush and the paint was, was destroyed. Thousands of dollars to have that polished out. So you want to use something like this. You want to use two buckets. It's called the what? The Molly, Molly Moppin? Molly Moppin. It doesn't have to be this brand. It could, this is the one that we like. You put on an extension pole. It's very easy. You want to use two buckets minimum, one with clean water, one with soapy water. I just have one bucket out here. I just used the Home Depot. You don't need to get a fancy one. So after you agitate that foam, dip it in the clean, put it back in the soap, keep doing it, right? If you have really soiled areas and this starts getting dirty, swap it out, put another one. Once you rinse all that off, all that soapy water off and you're satisfied with it, we wax. We, we recommend waxing your RV. Now we do once a year. MJ used to help me doing this. She doesn't help me anymore. Well, doing why this. is that? Because her, sh her, her shoulders are bad. <laughs> We're going to have a fight after this, guys. <laughs> but so anyway, <laughs> once a year, I hand wax, we hand wax with this. It's called Rejects. This is really good. And I also used to use new finish. Guys, I, I can't really tell the difference between the two of them other than this one is way more expensive. This stuff, you can get it everywhere. This stuff works really, really good. And the reason why I use it, it leaves a good shine. It lasts a long time. Once a year, we do with a hand wax. In between that once a year, we wax with Griot's Garage foam on wax. And how this works, again, you're gonna use a foam cannon. You're going to mix your dilution, usually up to here with the actual wax, and then you fill the rest with water. You're going to foam it on, just like I spoke about. It'll do its work and you rinse it off and you just let it dry. I wish you can, like this is dirty right now, but our paint is so smooth. We've gotten compliments on how smooth the paint is. And it really doesn't take a lot of work other than that once a year when you have to hand wax it and it takes you six hours, but you can pay somebody to do that if you like. Now you may be asking yourself, well, I don't wanna carry all that crap with me. I'm on the road all the time. I'm a full timer. I don't have access to water. I can't do this. You are correct. We don't carry all this when we're out on the road. What we carry, and we're going to mention it again, is release because this does everything. And we've done videos on this. You pump it up, foam everything. All you have to do, guys, you literally, I go and I wipe with a cotton towel and this stuff comes right off. Now, one of the drawbacks of release is that it's a degreaser. So if you have wax on your unit, it's going to strip the wax off and you don't want to be out there waxing. It will get everything Thing off, including the wax. What we do is most of the time, I'm just doing it right up front because that's where you're going to get a lot of the, the grime and whatever. Once we hit the release, we wipe everything off, get all the dirt off. Here's another product. Very easy. It's called Aero Cosmetics Wash and Wax All. This is also uh, Boeing certified, just like the releases. You just spray and wipe with a microfiber towel and it puts that wax back on. Now, could you wash your whole RV with this? Yeah, you can, but this stuff is way more expensive. A gallon of this, which is not concentrated, is about 35 bucks and you don't get as many bottles. A gallon of the release, you get 80 of these bottles. So it makes more sense. Just use this to do a little bit of a finishing. Now, a couple of things when you wipe your RV, if you're not using DI water, you want to dry things. One of two things that I would recommend and pretty much anybody that washes anything will recommend cotton guys, cotton towel or microfiber. These are much more expensive. These are much more accessible. I tend to like these better to dry and, and you don't have to put pressure, just kind of wiping the stuff off, or you can use a big squeegee. You can do that also. What you don't want to do is use paper towel. Paper towel would scratch the crap out of the paint of your RV. So microfiber towel, regular cotton towel, make sure they're clean. If this falls on the floor, these things actually have microscopic like little hooks in them. So if I drop this on the floor, it's going to pick up everything. Do not use it again because you will pick up something and now you're rubbing and now it's just scratching up the paint. All right. So let's talk about the interior now. Surprise, surprise. The release also works on everything inside and we have cleaned 
everything, everything yeah. inside with the release. So you can use it on glass, on the mirrors, we use it on the counters, we've and cleaned on uh, we've cleaned our seats and it really, I mean you see it come off on the towel. It cleans everything. Now regarding the upholstery, the vinyl, when you clean with the release, release is just a cleaner. It's not a UV protectant, it's not meant, it's not a wax. So if you're cleaning any kind of vinyl, leather, anything like that, you want to add a UV protectant, your dashboard. Again, we go back to the 303 protectant. Mm -hmm. We've been using this. This one bottle I've had for a couple of years. A yeah. little goes a long way. I like this because it gets great reviews. UV protectant. It doesn't leave like that greasy, disgusting feel. It's like a very matte finish. This is on board all the time. Right. Now, the last thing we're going to talk about on the inside is going to be the floors. And depending mm -hmm. on what type of floors you have, it could be tile, linoleum, vinyl, carpet, whatever. We have both vinyl and carpet. So a couple of things we do. We have an onboard cordless vacuum. Nothing exciting there. We'll link <laughs> that below. We also use a Swiffer to mop. It, right. It's just the easiest thing out there. We have a small floor. There's no need to have buckets and mops. Swiffer works fine. Is it the cheapest? No, it's not the cheapest, but it's the most convenient. And we always make sure that we use that vacuum before we close the slides because you want to make sure that you get everything out before it goes rolling in and correct. scratching up your floor. That's correct, especially if you have pets. And then finally with the carpet, we vacuum and then twice a year or so, depending how active we are, I'll just have a Bissell steamer. And every time I steam that, I, I, I was it say, reconfirms why I hate carpet. And I was going to say, you cry. Because it's disgusting. You cry over carpet, pretty much. I could probably yeah. steam the carpet 67 times and the water still is not clear, but it, it's just so nasty. And now, I know people say, well, you're using water in the RV. Guys, if you get a good steamer, it uses minimal amount of water. And when you pull it back, it uses heat and it, it dries right. within 15 minutes. So don't be worried about that. One thing we didn't mention was the wheels, which we also clean very well. Yeah, we have Alcoa wheels. Again, I use the release. Mm -hmm. It gets yeah. that brake dust off, dirt, grime. It literally, you see this stuff, I want to say melting, but just dripping off. And then you just power wash over it. And it's one, two, three. One thing we do not do is put any kind of tire dressings. You have to be careful with that. If it's a silicone base, you don't want to use that. It, it can actually damage the rubber. There are someone, I know Chemical Guys has one out there that doesn't use silicone. It doesn't damage the rubber. Just be careful what you put on your tires. In the comments below, let us know how you clean, what you use to clean. Do you clean? Do you hire somebody to do it? What, what are your ways of dealing with keeping your RV clean? Yeah, because we like to know this and other people like to know it also. And if you like videos like this to the left of us, we'll put our RV DIY playlist. We'll also put our RV tours playlist. And for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime and we'll see, see you, you on, on the, the road. road.